Welcome back to our Costa Rica series at Rome Away From Home. We're Taylor, Mike, Ziggy, and Ditto, and we've been traveling full-time for the past three years in our 1986 RV. But for the last few months, we've been exploring the southern zone of Costa Rica while visiting family and showing you all the best places to discover. Today, we're taking you to our favorite beach near Uvita and Ojo Cha, Playa Arco. Now you can see why it's our favorite beach. Before we get started, Playa Arco is unique in that it's only accessible three hours before and after low tide, or two if you want to be careful. And because there's a limited time you can go, it's rarely crowded, which is amazing for such a beautiful, sandy beach. There are three main ways to get to Playa Arco that we know of. The first is to pay to park at Playa Pinuelas and walk to Arco. That'll take you at least an hour each way, and you do have to pay to park. We haven't personally done this route, but we do know another YouTuber that does, and we'll link to his video in the description so you can check it out if that's what you're thinking. The second is to hike from La Cusinga Lodge. This will be your best option if you don't have a four-wheel drive vehicle, but you will need to go up and down at least 100 steps. And here's what my dad looks like after that hike. It is expected that you either eat at the restaurant or have a drink at the bar when you go this route. It's important to also consider that no dogs are allowed at La Cusinga Lodge, which is very rare for Costa Rica. The benefit is the pass spits you out right here at the beach, so you can spend more time there and worry less about the tides. The third way to get to Playa Arco is the focus of our video today. There are no street signs, but it is called Calle La Roca, but we'll throw in the approximate GPS coordinates into the description so you can check it out. This is a great way to access Playa Arco for free with not too bad of a walk. All you have to do is two small jungle hikes and a walk through a cave to get there. So let's get started. The direction we're showing is heading south from Uvita towards Playa Arco. We actually had breakfast at the Panaderia in town and this is the perfect way to start off a beach day. You'll know you're in the right spot because you will see a house on your right shortly after coming into the road. The road starts off okay, but does become pretty rutted pretty quickly with some large puddles. So we highly recommend four wheel drive. You can never really know the state of this road until you're already on it. It is also pretty small, not a lot of room on either side. So just be careful as you're driving it and take it slow because it's totally worth it once you hit the beach. The road will eventually come to a dead end, and on the left you'll have a farm, on the right you'll have some opportunities for parking. Just past the area where you park your car is a little path outside of the farm that leads towards the beach. You take this path through the jungle and you'll know you're going the right way because you'll see a giant bamboo bunch on your left. Once you hit the beach, you might think you're there, and some people do stay here and enjoy this area of the beach. But the best part is yet to come. 
You hang a right after you get out of the path and go down these slightly uneven rocks where there will be another jungle path at the end of this little inlet. And while we don't recommend bringing too much stuff to Playa Arco, we do recommend bringing fun beach activities like jasmine in, frisbee, or football. Or as you'd say it in the US, soccer ball. You'll know you chose the correct path when you see the Parque Nacional Marino Ballena Sector Playa Arco sign. I feel like now you can see why it's our favorite beach. No one in sight. Super, super sandy. There's caves. Mild waves. We actually just ran into our friend. Like, what are the chances? the other only two people on this beach right now. The dogs love it, they can run. I mean, look at that. It really is just beautiful. Mike's carrying all our stuff. The key is you don't wanna to bring too much stuff to Arco. If you bring too much stuff, you have to carry it back with you and it is kind of a hike. So whatever you can bring in a backpack or a backpack cooler, that's gonna be the best. All right, back to the view. Our favorite area of Playa Arco, and actually where La Cusinga Lodge spits you out, is just on the other side of this cave. The ocean water in Costa Rica is actually very warm. And so instead of cooling off in the ocean, you can actually cool off with a natural bamboo waterfall shower. And now, a quick story time from Mike about how much he appreciates Playa Arco. It's like, do you remember Aladdin 3? <laughs> no, I do he, not remember Aladdin 3. The one where he met his dad? You, I've seen it once with you only. So, they were on the search for the golden touch of Midas, the gold hand that touches everything gold. And it was on the back of a island that was on a, a giant sea turtle that came up for air once every, like, I don't know, Like years. Avatar? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't have to wait as long, but it's kind of the same thing. This uh, this beach, you mean? Yeah, you know, and there's no Midas touch, but I think the view is the Midas touch. Now this is just a glimpse of Playa Arco. 
we will be posting a full video walkthrough if you just want to play it in the background or you want to experience what it's like to walk along the entire beach. So stay tuned and subscribe to be notified when that video goes live. And make sure to drop a comment if you want to see other places in Costa Rica or have questions about traveling around Costa Rica. But for now, it's time to leave Playa Arco. Join us next time as we continue our Costa Rica series.